Hello everybody, it's me Tracy. Today's DIY is very special to me, so I'm gonna share with y'all. I'm gonna share how I made this memorial light box. This one I made for my grandchild that passed away two years ago. She was 11 months old. And it says, in loving memories of Magic Davis, she passed on October 15, 2019. And on this side, it says forever in my heart. And on this side, it says magic, because that's what her name was. And in the door, I put some angel wings in the door with a ladder on it up to heaven. And I put her picture on the candle. And the reason why I put it backwards like that and so my grandchildren won't open it up and mess with it. And this is a light that comes on every day at the same time. It says timer on it. So this is what we're going to be making today. I put some flowers on it. And I'm, I'm going to show y'all how to do. For the light, I found two of the uh, quotes that I want to put on the memorial lights. So we got this one, I hide my tears when I say your name, but the pain in my heart is still the same. I miss you. And this is always love, forever gotten, and forever miss. So these are what I'm going to put on the lights, on the memorial light itself. So we're going to take some measurements on the size, and then we'll come back to this part. So for the measurements, we're going to start on the side because we're going to put the measurements on the side. So here it shows about four inches across, four inches wide. So we're going to do a 3.5. For the wideness, how wide it is, 3.5. Now, for up and bottom, from top to bottom, it's seven inches. So we're gonna go about six inches. So for for height, six inches. Six inches. So we're gonna take this first one oh, that's wrong let's move that that's the screen recording let's move that over there we go we're going to put this one over here and hide it and we're going to start with this So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, I'm going to unlock it, and I'm going to make it a 3.5. That's how wide I want it for the side. And for the top, it's going to be 6. So we're just going to make that 6 inches. And this is how big you want it. No ball bigger than that. Then I'm going to unlock this one, and I'm going to do it the same. So this is going to unlock it on Cricut, and we're going to make this a 3.5 by 6. This should be 6. 6. Lock it. Try to make sure you lock it, because that way it won't get unlocked. So now that I got these two ready, I'm gonna print them out on the Cricut Maker. There's the Cricut Maker. I'm gonna set it, set it over there to get it printed out. So I'm gonna push, and make it, and I'm gonna put, I wanna print both of them out at the same time on the same page. So it wants to do 
a print and cut. I don't want to do a print and cut, so I'm going to cancel that out. I want my pictures to be done as basic. Basic cuts, basic cuts, not a printing cut, just a basic cut, basic cuts. Because you don't want to do a printing cut because we're not printing them, we're just doing basic cuts. So we're going to go to make it. I'm going to make this one first. Let me move it over some. And I'm going to push continue. And we're going to send it to Cricut Maker. You can use a regular Cricut Air too. So we're going to set it for vinyl because we want to cut vinyl. And it's, it's beeping, so it's letting me know I can load my mat now. And then the Cricut sign shows up, and now I'm, I'm going to print both at the same time. And while that's printing, I would like to say thank y'all for finding my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all the love and support. Um, there's a Facebook group for some of the other things that you might like. It's called Crafting Together as One. And you can sign up for that as well. I'm always here for moral support. You can hit me up on Facebook Messenger if you need pictures or if you just have any questions and you just want to talk. I'm always, I'm available. I work at night. But you can always hit me up and I will let you know when I'm free and we can talk. So while there's printing, I'll be back. All right, so my my vinyl and my quotes are all printed out. So I'm gonna cut it out. And the next step we have to do is weed it out. Be patient with this weeding because this weeding stuff ain't no joke. It's not a lot of fun either. But you need a weeding tool. So I want to talk to you about this this box. This box, more a uh, uh, lantern box. I bought it from Walmart. It costs fifteen dollars, fourteen ninety five. They have them in Walmart. If you want to purchase it, it has a door and everything. And the candles that go inside has two settings. And one setting is a timer, so it can come on every day at the same time. And another one will just leave the light on. You can just leave the light on or set it to come on every day. For my grandchild, I have it set to come on every day. I feel like when her light coming on, she's trying to get grandmama's attention. So, you can buy these and these cost $4 at Walmart as well. So, I'm printing the, the quote out for the first one. For the first one that I always love and ever forgot so i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna weed it out just be patient when it comes to the weeding because it's a tedious tedious work and you can use a regular cricket you can use cricket maker you can even use the joy for this project so just be patient make sure you don't lose any pieces and you don't have to go back in Reconnect. You can always, you know, use your weeding tool to go back. A lot of times I like to try to slide it all, but it's not always. It's all depend on what kind of vinyl you buy. The cheaper the vinyl, the more it's going to take to get it to to come out and weed and do what it's supposed to do. So this part, you need to taking a little bit of patience when you're doing it just be patient with it and try not to lose too many lose some of your pieces I 
I'm using my S. So I'll just be patient with this weedy. My name weedy. Taking the parts off. If you're new to cricket, just be patient with the weeding part because it all still depends on your vinyl on how you get the pieces off. So let me finish weeding this and I'll be back. All right. So it took a little time to do all this weeding to get all the words properly done. So they're all done. And I have some transfer tape that I'm going to use Cricut transfer tape so I'm just going to put the piece on here and I'm going to measure the piece and cut it so I can use this sheet to transfer it to my my light I don't need that much I mean, So everything is about some type of weeding. You gotta find the corners, which is not always easy. All right, so I got it. So I'm gonna do this one first. put my piece of transfer tape Cricut transfer tape this is the thin one it's not the real thick one because I noticed if you use a thick thick transfer paper so you want to use a scraper and make sure it stick really good on your on your transfer sheet you know stick it real good and we're gonna peel it off and if it don't peel, just go over it. It eventually will. Just everything when it comes to these kind of things, even when you do the shirts, you have to be patient with this process of getting all the stuff. Ready to come on. Be patient. It will come on. Be real patient with this. Especially if you're new to cricket. You'll see. This weeding is no fun. All right. So I got everything stuck on my dress first sheet. And we're going to put this on this side. Say so lay it down flat. I got some lens cleaner, glass cleaner type of thing that I'm gonna um, use to wipe the glass off if you don't want all that stickiness inside there.
So I'm just gonna place this on here where I want it. Make sure there's enough space on both sides. Lay it fat, use your, your scraper. Push it down in the glass. And just peel, peel slowly. If you see any pieces coming up, just make sure the pieces, you, you know, scrape it. Make sure the pieces go back down. Because you will find some to act like it don't want to stick. There's always one. One stubborn little piece. And if it don't work, you can always use your, I'm going to use my thing and pull it off that way. Sometimes if you roll it, you can, the pieces won't come off. See that? It says always love, never forgotten, forever missed. That's on that side. And on the other side, I'm gonna put the other one. And I'm gonna use the same transfer sheet. And then when I finish, I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna use it again. And this one might be a little extra work because it has all these little small pieces. So I'm gonna make sure I give it enough pressure so I don't have to fight with this thing. Yeah. Always. You can use a heavier transfer sheet, but I find that if you use a heavier sheet, it's harder to, to get it on. So I'm going to turn it upside down. Maybe I can take it off this way and make it easier. Help it stick. There's a lot of ways of getting around it to make sure it stick to that paper. paper. You just have to be patient. Just have to be patient. So let me get this off and I'll be back. So I'm finished weeding the second one. To see it. And I'm gonna put that on this side and I'm gonna carefully place this in the middle. And then I'm gonna use my scraper to push down, but not enough to break the glass now. I don't use too much pressure. Just enough to make it stick. And then we're going to peel it up. And hopefully the pieces won't come up with it. But that's the thing we have to worry about the most. If we lose some pieces, we have to go back over and cut another piece out. Ain't hey, nobody don't feel like doing all that. So just take your time. Peel it off. There you go. I'm going to put my transfer sheet back on this plastic because I can use it again. They can be used again. So now this side is on. I hide my tears when I say your name, but the pain in my heart is still the same. I miss you. So here's the front of it. We're going to put the light inside. So now for the picture, I'm not making this for nobody. So they basically, this will just be a prep. Um, this will be already prepped and made for when I'm ready to use it. For somebody, when they put a order in, it'll be already done for it. So I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put my picture on So the measurements for 
the back to put the picture because we're gonna put one picture in the inside one picture on the outside and sometimes it can be a little tricky it's at four inches wide so we're gonna write it down for further use four inches that's wide for w and then on the top and bottom you might have you might have um about six and a half maybe one inch more so you got six and a half with maybe add one more inch to it one little inch to it. and then we'll print it out so i'm using car stock this is a 90 pound car stock and i'm using my cutting board to cut the pictures out so that i can put them in inside the memorial box Like I said, sometimes the cutting might be a little off. You might have to work with it a little bit more. But for the most part, if it fit the back, it'll fit the inside. So, it's in there nicely. You just need to cut a little bit of the top off because it's buckling a little bit. No, oh, that's actually pretty good. Cut that one. Cut this one as well. So I got the light turned off for you, and I'm all done now. This space right here. You just look at it and determine how much you want and then you take your um measurements and i say about two and a half inches two and a half inches to about to about right here where you start putting the the person's name on it and their sunrise and sunset and then you got the um the person inside i got his face blocked out but there's the person inside you can put whatever you want down the bottom, some type of decoration, but think of the person, got the information in there. That's the inside there. You have your quote on that side. You have the patient picture. The picture's on that side, it's not glued down, because I didn't want to glue it down, because like I said, this is just for, for YouTube purposes. If somebody want to order it, the boxes be already done and available and sometimes they like the quotes I put on here so that's the back so you want to put the picture in the back and inside so just print out two pictures for it and then you got the quote on the other side and yes you can find these pictures in in your images in your design space go on to images and find them they're in there and what I didn't know that the things that we make and we save them as a project is now inside Cricut Design Space for everybody else to use. And if you didn't pay for a membership, you pretty much has to pay for the things that we put in there. That's just how it is. But there you go. I hope you like my memorial light. Like I said, these candles cost $4. And then when you push this in the back here, you can push it for a timer or you can push it to stay on. This is stay on. This is a timer. So whatever time you click it on, it's the same time it's going to come on every day. And I like this idea because right now I can go downstairs and my grandbaby's candle is lit. It's time for me to fix her battery because it's a little dim. So I just keep changing her battery like every four or five months. And her light comes on and it makes me feel good because it makes me feel like when her light comes on, she's trying to get my attention. I miss my grandbaby. But there you go. I hope y'all like my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Sign up for the Facebook group, Crafting Together as One. And the supplies you need is a, from Walmart for $15. You need a cricket or a joy or something to put the words on. And the night costs about 4 or $5. Bye bye. Cut off. This thing acting up. They don't want to cut off.
There you go.